Hey you guys, I'm here with um, a quick little, um, I won't say review, but just to show that I've gotten some new perfumes and my first niche perfumes, I got a bunch of samples and um, I got three of the one ounce size bottles of Gershaw and I'll show you which one's here in a moment. But these I got from Lucky Scent. This is horrible. These are so small. Do not get your samples from Lucky Scent. They should be giving these away. This is ridiculous. They claim that they show what these were. They don't even have sprayers. I didn't see that though these were these because I wouldn't have ordered them at all. Um, I did test these out earlier. Just a quick um, tidbit about them. Um, I didn't like any of them except for the Dolce Amalfi. And I like the Lyra, I guess. By Zerjoff and Zerjoff Doge um, Doge Amalfi, sorry. Um, but the other ones, Tom Ford Lost Cherry, I didn't like that. And none of them really have any staying power, power but maybe because they're in these little vials. Um, the Zerjoff Cruise Del Sur 2, yeah, didn't like it. And I thought I would love it. I heard about that one from. I forget Beth somebody on here that does perfume. She has a bunch of really expensive perfumes. Um, I'll go to her page for the Zerzhovs actually. Uh, the Lyra, yeah, none of them really had any staying power, and they are so small. Now I got these that came in these boxes. Whoops, they came in these boxes. The Zerzhovs from Twisted Lily. Nice boxes. They came in. I don't know if all of them come like that, but they came in nice boxes. And let me show you the size compared to Lucky Scent. You see that? And with the sprayers on them. That is how you should send a sample. Because we're spending a lot of money on these perfumes. And if you're going to send a sample, so I'm not opening up a box and wasting um, and having to send it back an open box. You should send sample all your samples, and they should get a free sample of each perfume with your purchase. So you're not wasting your money. Um, yeah, that's what I think. If I had a perfume, I would send a free sample with every um, with every perfume, so they can send me my perfume back if they don't like it. Uh, maybe a smaller version. Of, well, maybe you have that size. No, maybe that size, because those are about that size. But they don't have sprayers on them, so you waste a lot of it. But anyway, so this is La Capitale by Zerzhov, uh, Dama Bianca by Zerzhov, and um, Herba Pura. So I was told these were really great. Um, I don't really care for them. Yeah, I don't really care for them. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. They're... I just don't care for them. The only one that really impressed me was the Dolce Amalfi Lyra. I'm on the fence about, but we'll see. So, I think I sprayed Don Bianca again because I think I like this. But, see, I don't know what I sprayed on this hand. I just did a video and I'm redoing it. See, I sprayed something on the hand and see, it's still greasy. Now, this one is not. I sprayed on this hand, too. That one don't got a lot. That one does. That has oh, that has a great oil in it. So that one will probably last longer. I feel like the more oil in the perfume, the last, the longer it lasts. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Now the piste la resistance. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and show these. I haven't opened them because I'm still debating on whether I'm gonna keep them yet or not. And I want to do an unboxing video of those and give my opinion on them. So, just a moment. I don't feel like I have the great uh, sense of smell either. Okay, I'm going to pull out the one that I know nothing about. I don't have a sample of it or anything yet. So, I don't even know if I'm going to keep this or I'm going to send it back. This is the Cosmerati uh, Zerzhov Bouquet Idea, Idea, one ounce. It's 
So, Twisted Lily, I bought these from. Um, they come brand new packaged. Not open. Um, I'm not going to open this one. The one I will open because I know I'm going to keep. I will open the one. I'll show you the one I'm going to open. Okay. That is the... Okay, I did. All right. Okay, I do. I guess. Now, you would think I would keep this one for last because this is more popular than the one that I'm about to open. This is Lyra. I'm not sure about Lyra yet. I'm going to take the sample that I have and use it a few more times and see if it's worth it because if not, I will be sending those back, these back and getting me some more Dolce & Malfi. Just get a big bottle of that. And yeah. So that's Lyra. And my favorite. It better last long because these perfumes are not cheap. This is Dolce & Malfi. And it's by Zerzhov. And it is a really great smelling perfume. Does this say what it has? Um, it does not say, at least not on that side. Let's see if it has the notes on it. No. And then it has the, on the outside of that it has, that's not English. Oh, yeah, it has label, satin ribbon, cap, bottle, outer box. I guess that's telling you what the <laughs> contents are. <laughs> so they even put, like, the cellophane. They put that as, as far as the content. Okay, so this one I'm going to open. Let's go ahead and open this one up. Let's move these two out the way because we need a little bit more room. And, oh, sorry. Let's go ahead and did it again let's open this one up because this one I will be keeping of course it's crazy to open it because I have the sample but I'm going to take it from the sample and from this to see if there's a difference in the smell because I like this perfume All right. Let's see if I can pull it out like this without ruining my silver thing. I don't know why I care, but I don't know. that's just what I want to do. These are my first niche perfumes, so listen. You open yours the way you open yours, or I'll open mine the way I open mine. Okay. I won't be able to get <laughs> the bigger bottle of this. So, all right. So now we have it open. Okay. All right. That's sliding out already. This box is kind of plain compared to the bigger boxes, I guess. Let's pull that open. Da -da 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 -da. That's a small bottle. My hand, the bottle. The bottle. <laughs> that is a small bottle. This is not just plastic. I guess it has a little furry suede filling over top of it. Um, oh gosh, sorry you guys. It is pretty much filled to the top almost. Okay. All right, let's pull this puppy out, if we can. Look 
goodness gracious. They got this thing in here. Okay. Oh, goodness. Mm. Oh, my gosh. I don't want to end up hitting the camera. Okay, there we go. All right. Whoops, whoops, whoops. No, no, don't you dare. I'm going to stay right there. Okay. So... Little bottle, little bottle, little bottle. My perfume is last though because I barely, like it just depends. I probably would, if because how expensive this is for me anyway, I would only wear this like on special occasions. Nice orange bottle. The embedded emblem on there. Raised emblem. Ray's Casamirati, Dolce Amalfi in a flat white, Et Et Parfum. Seems like this got glitter in the bottle. I gotta get a closer look. Maybe it's just from my nails. I don't know. All right, let's take this top off. How easy is it? Oh, oh girl. goodness, that's a heavy lid to see on the inside. You know, it's not fake. Smell test. Okay, so we're going to take, I hate to waste this because, uh, hello, this is not your alt perfume. JC pennies or <laughs> I don't know. So I'm ripping this off so I can get a little tester. Alright. Let's go ahead and spray this. Okay. Better spray a little bit more. All right, sorry, I keep hitting this thing on phone. Oh, I let it dry down a little bit. Oh, this is a nice, heavy cap. This cap is heavy, nice, solid, heavy cap. None of my caps feel like that from the other ones. See that click on, how it clicked on like that, too? Yeah, you don't get that at Ulta. You don't get this at Ulta. <laughs> Okay, let's smell it. Mmm. I don't know. See, I just had COVID. I was in the hospital with COVID. Um, end of August, end of July, beginning of August, and my smell still is not back, really. Because I can't smell anything on this card. Nothing. It's like I can't, it's like I can't, I can't smell. I'm going to have to spray this on me. Because I can't smell anything on that card. It's a lot of alcohol in these expensive perfumes, though. I don't feel like they should have that much alcohol in them. Because at the end of the day, you're paying for... A niche perfume it shouldn't have all that alcohol on it but I sprayed it on me letting it dry down a little bit because see first whiff I get nothing but alcohol that's all I get in this perfume nothing but alcohol it's drying down I don't know why I smell licorice I don't like licorice either. And that's the one I opened because I love the sample of it. Okay, we're about to compare the sample and... 
the sample and this. Now the way it dries down, I'm loving it after the dry down. Oh my goodness. Dang. Okay, I got one on this wrist, one on this wrist, on the other wrist. I'm loving the dry down. It's definitely sweet, and I like sweet perfumes. I don't know why this seems sweeter. This little thing seems, this little thing right here seems sweeter than this whole bottle right here. I don't know why either. I like Dolce Armani. Amalfi. I said Armani. I like, oh, I like it though. I do. I'm not opening up Lear or Bouquet Ideal because I don't know. I've got a feeling I won't like that one. I think I'm going to keep um, Lear, but I don't know about the Bouquet, bouquet one. I don't know if I'm keeping that one. Look at They like, got all this packaging for this little bottle. Look at this. You don't even need all that packaging. Maybe they, you go down in price if they like fix this packaging. All this packaging for this little itty bitty bottle. Oh, I didn't show you guys the other one that I got. I got another one, but still smelling my Dolce Armani. Okay, so the last one I got from Twisted Lily was this rollerball or sprayer you know personal this is julia has a gun mm. guess i can unbox this for you guys i think i liked it but i'm not i don't remember if i'm being honest um, i know it was difficult as heck to get out because they got this thing see this is ridiculous how the heck are you supposed to get this out? I really don't understand. Like, I get that they want to be fancy, but all that, this is like, it's inside its own little bed in this rubbery filling. I don't know. Like, look, you can't even get this thing on thing out. What the heck? Oh my I, mean, I got a little bit of nails, but what about somebody who don't got no nails at all? Or... Yeah, so you pull it out of there. Look at that. That don't make no, that's so unnecessary. Why is that in there like that? A foam, like, yeah, a foam insert. I forget how this smells too, so it wasn't memorable, that's for sure. That Dolce El Mafico. Mm. He's smelling my wrist. I can't smell it on this paper. Just a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna spray a little bit of this on here. I don't remember what this smells like. Alright, let's see. I don't know what I can... I'm not good with the smells either. I'm not... Oh, that Dolce Mavi. I'm not... 
good with the smelling so but anyway i've been on here 20 minutes this was just supposed to be a quick unboxing and it's turned so much more than that what is oh i was about to say what is that on my bottle that's this from the sparkles Okay, but quick, but quick, ideal. I don't know I, if this smells like flowers. I hate anything that smells like flowers, I don't like it. So, I gotta see if I'm gonna like this. I really don't want to open it because what if I don't like it? And I don't think they accept them back if they're open. I do like this, like, it's nothing, it's nothing really amazing though. Like, I like it, but. If it doesn't have the staying power, it's like none of these perfumes are worth it because I'm buying them because the other ones don't last in the beauty beauty stores. They don't last. So I figured if I stuff my game up a little bit, I'll get some lasting, good smelling, sweet gourmand perfume. But so far, this kind of hits the mark, but it does smell like bubble gum. Lear. I don't know. It just it didn't it didn't do it for me like it should have. With the reviews that I was seeing, it should have done more, and it it didn't it, it didn't understand the assignment. I don't believe. I don't know if this understood the assignment because I haven't graded it yet. This, yeah, it didn't do its best work on the assignment. So I give her a B, B minus, because. She could be a lot better. But I'm going to put her back in her little bed. Because she will come out. Like. Yeah. She she going to sleep in her bed. She going to be like my other perfumes. She's going to be in her bed. So. Here we have. Yeah, these.